guys, I'm back. And we are returning to this lavender and rose garden. Uh, we're still tweaking it. Let me turn this camera around. So, uh, I've since went to the nursery and got two more province lavenders, put them right there. So we'll effectively have a hedge of province lavender. So I think what I'll do is create a mat or a ground cover of dianthus, trying to combat these weeds. This area is extremely weedy. It is extremely weedy. Um, I have come through here throughout the summer and tackled these weeds time and time again. So with this space, I've even considered putting weed fabric, which I detest. I heavily detest weed fabric. But um, I don't know. I'm running out of options. I mean, I could, I can go ahead and put some cardboard or some newspaper down, but that's a temporary fix, right? These weeds are, they're, they're insane. <laughs> they are insane. And so I'm going to have to really, like, really stay on top of this area. All right. So again, like I said, the dianthus, the reason for that is to create kind of like a mat, a mat ground cover uh, situation here to combat these weeds. So I may have to go out and get some more, probably get 10 more of these um, dianthus. So it can really, it can really have an effect, right? I mean, not only do I want to create a really nice thick ground cover layer, but you know, I want it to really have an effect, really look, really look striking. And a lot of these flowers, So a lot of the flowers on this fire witch, they're pretty dainty, they're pretty delicate. Um, and so I need to really have these in mass so that I can really get the effect I'm looking for, all right? because I'll put up on the screen the colors of the province lavender blooms. And then underneath you'll have all the fire witch. And then this rose, this climbing rose, has a pleasing uh, basic white color to it. Let's see if I can get them two together. So of course we had a lot of rain, so this rose bloom is kind of is kind of tainted. But there's a nice contrast of the two. Alright? So that'll look really nice. And of course you've got the flowers of the um hide hole right here. Alright guys, so here's another view. So I went out and got a couple more of these fire witch dianthus. So I intend to just create an entire green carpet of this dianthus. Now, the tricky thing is going to be combating the weeds, right? Because as you can see over there, they're relentless. Uh, every week or every two weeks, come out here and do some weeding because this little area here has the potential to be a very attractive garden. Once I get that sombrero rose to grow up on that fence and then you have those gorgeous white fluffy blooms along with the white blooms of that hide, I think it's called hide Clematis, Hyde Hall Clematis. Once I get that white theme to envelope that fence right there, that's gonna be very beautiful. And then, like I said, you got 
these two Lark Ascending Roses. They have very beautiful blooms. They smell really well. I mean, this is gonna be a very nice, attractive location in the garden. Um, I still have yet to find some more ARP rosemary so that I can create a little hedge back here as well. So, yeah. Uh, I may not be able to, um, after I plant all of this, I may not be able to weed all of this. I think what I'll do is come in here with the weed whacker, get this to about an inch off the ground, and then place my cardboard on top. So it's not gonna look good after that. Um, I do wanna get some mulch and put on top of it. But I do know from experience, this is a very steep incline. And unless I get that mulch really wet and weighed down, it will eventually just slide down. And I don't want that. So it's all completed, right? I mean, yeah, it's really dark, but I just had to show it off. So let me uh, run through it real quick. So please forgive the weeds in the background. 
So yeah, the first half has been cleared. All of these Dianthus fire witch ground covers have been planted. I got a total of 19. So that's not snow, that's perlite. So that's the secret to me amending this heavy clay soil, specifically in this bed. And in all reality, this bed is a raised bed, right? This retaining wall, it essentially has become a raised bed and I've amended it with really good quality soil for the most. But um, I know lavender and dianthus really don't care for um, fertile soil, right? So to combat that, I've used, I've used a lot of perlite. Uh, there's some sand in here from a couple years ago when I first put in this, uh, this herb, quote, quote, herb garden. Um, so yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick, a quick look. Um, it's getting dark. I'm going to attempt to use the weed whacker right now to, uh, bring down those, the, the height of the weeds back there. Cause it's ridiculous and I don't want everything to go to seed, drop seed and start the process all over again. So I'm not going to bore you guys and film that. I just wanted to show the end result of the first half. So we're going to have this uh, province lavender hedge, it's four plants right there. The two lark ascending roses on either side of the plinth and the urn and in the foreground thick ground cover of dianthus fire witch and of course this gorgeous climbing rose over here let me see if i can get a good bloom to show you guys so this is sombrero climbing rose right here up against this wall so yeah i still got to get uh some fence structures, some uh, climbing structures to put right here. I think I got another one left. And then uh, that'll be something for that uh, Sombrero climbing rose to ramble up on. All right, guys. All right. So thanks for hanging with me on this episode and I'll see you on the next one.